The Nationals were aboard the Disney Fantasy and returned to Trinidad on Monday morning. The vessel was spotted as it was leaving the port in Port of Spain after the Nationals disembarked. One crew member, Nikisha Bedo, who came home this morning, said she's overcome with joy and grateful to be back home. She said she is thankful as she even got a chance to catch a glimpse of her daughter, whom she has not seen in months. When we came out of the port, you know, people were lined up on the side of the road waiting just to get a glimpse of the family. They parked on the side of the road, so when the bus was passing, I was by the window, so I get to shout out and say. Because I call on the phone and tell her, well, we're just coming in, we're coming in the road, and they're stretched there, and I got to see her. It was really nice. Even if I didn't get to call out or anything, just to glimpse my family was really, you know, emotional for me. The Nationals will be housed at the UWI DB campus, where it is expected they will be medically examined and quarantined for 14 days. Ms. Bedor said they have already been medically examined by health officials. Staff that we have here who would be, um, for like if we need our lunch or anything like that, very welcome in. They made us feel like at home. So it's a really nice feeling. We didn't have any, in, from, my, from my experience, the time that we come, we didn't have anybody treat us any type of way. They were really nice to us. On Saturday night, six other cruise ship workers were also repatriated and taken to the UWI DB facility. TTT News reached out to National Security Minister Stuart Young for comment on this latest development. Minister Young said his ministry is currently in communication with other cruise lines to work out an acceptable schedule and manner of returning over 300 nationals on cruise ships in the region. He said the quarantine provisions are critical to protect the population in Trinidad and Tobago and the returning nationals as well.